Let's switch and talk about what I lined out when you came out. Let's talk about Web3. Let's talk about Metaverse. What does it mean to you? Yeah, so in a Metaverse, is this fictional word means a lot of things to a lot of people. But for me, it means basically, right, you know, that a virtual world where all the kind of the physical boundaries are erased. Uh, you know, there are many thousands of uh, folks that are joining this uh, event. Um, imagine where they are able to get the same experience as you in this room. Um, and uh, in, in, in short, for me, Metaverse is that kind of, you know, that thing, the full sensory immersion uh, that we were, uh, uh, you know, I'm craving for. So in my elevator pitch again, is it s simple to say that the Metaverse just needs a lot more compute? Yeah, ton more. Uh, in fact, right, you know, I've uh, written a you know, blog post in, in December uh, that you're literally talking about like in a thousand X more compute than our devices and you have access to today to you know simulate this uh, uh, you know photo reel uh, at 60 hertz 120 hertz whatever the frame rates you practically need uh, every user needs an equivalent of zeta scale compute for each user mm -hmm. right you know whether you how you get it is the challenge that we all that we have, have. To solve. yeah how do we deliver that so how would we get there um, so uh, and again, in the same blog post, uh, we uh, layered uh, the plumbing for metaverse, as we called it, uh, across three layers. Right? You call it, like, you know, the compute layer, the silicon layer across devices, uh, edge, network, and into the data center. And then there is a software infrastructure layer. How do you deliver this compute seamlessly to all the use cases, right, in real time? That also needs development. And then there is the intelligence layer on top where there is a lot of interesting research activity going on there. I won't talk about that much today because that will take, you know, we can talk for hours on that. So there are advances across all these three layers needed to kind of finally yes, deliver the, you know, the, the promise of metaverse. So what are we working on on these three layers? Yeah, I think so in particular the infrastructure it, layer. Yeah, obviously we, you know, we have our entire silicon roadmap, uh, you know, geared towards solving these kind of advanced use cases. Uh, but um, one uh, critical thing uh, that I'm super excited uh, uh, that we're working on is this thing called Project Endgame, which is how to deliver this continual compute for uh, metaverse, right? Okay. And, uh, so I think that's super exciting. Um, how far along are we? I mean, how much longer do we have well, to wait I, to get set up scale? I can't me? wait to show a demo of <laughs> where we are, right? So I think we have one here. Get, That's probably yeah, what this laptop the, does over here. Let, let me move to this the, to you. Yeah. So no. the, the, the closest thing that you have today to uh, see what, you know, what this full sensory immersion is, Unreal Engine 5, right? This is the latest and greatest rendering technology and um, we have it, uh, uh, you know, a demo from them running on this, uh, you know, pretty powerful gaming laptop. It's a gaming laptop, yeah. right? And uh, yeah, so you know, you already see actually this laptop saying, "Hey, the video memory has been exhausted. Uh, expect extremely poor performance, right, on this, uh, you know, relatively um, high performance device." And if I, you know, try uh, moving around here, right, it's pretty stuttery, right? It's just not a great experience. And I'll show you a little later what this entire environment is. It's a spectacular uh, simulation of the entire city, real-time simulation of an entire city. So that's kind of what you... That's experience uh, today. Yeah, that's the experience today. Very if you're painful. on road, this is, this is not much of a metaverse, no. right? So, no. Um, no. So let's... Not, not very exciting, uh, yeah. really not. So let me show you now, right, uh, uh, I get out of this, and you see this uh, um, icon here, it says continual compute disabled. So I turn on this uh, continual compute infrastructure, and I uh, you know, launch the uh, Unreal once again here. And what this basically does is it looks for compute power outside of this laptop. Out, outside of this laptop, anywhere within the vicinity, within the latency requirements of this experience. In fact, we have a, a desktop box with a lot more compute available across on, you know, on the stage on the other side. So I could charge you for this. If this was my PC and you <laughs> tap into you, it, I you could, could charge you. But, but see, the experience you're going to get, see right now, right? So it's like you know, a lot more smoother, right? And uh, you know, I can uh, 
I can actually, you know, uh, fly around and, you know, see the entire uh, city, you know, including you know, the, the traffic on the, on the freeways here. And it's actually, you know, spectacularly uh, complex, uh, um, uh, you know, rendering with, uh, you know, lots of polygonal complexity, you know, it's uh, switched on a, you know, kind of a wide frame view. So this is, um, you know, this is, I'd say, kind of the lowest bar for kind of the full vision of uh, metaverse, you know, four or five years from now, but where we are, um, I mean, this gives you a peek of what we're trying well, to possible. kind of achieve with uh, this uh, whole continuous. So this computer. means that if I go on a business trip, I will have that compute power anywhere I go to, anywhere, and I will be able to play FIFA from my hotel room on a weekend if I want <laughs> yes. to. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. That and, is absolutely uh, great. And we are actually uh, going to do the beta testing of this continual compute service uh, later this year. And uh, I'm sure we can uh, sign you up with an alpha account for the internal users right you away. Absolutely should. Like, I'm before a great we tester leave the show. Of technology. Yeah. So that's that. what uh, you know we got going on this continual compute. Stuff. I'm looking forward to that.